Let's connect a calendar to our Calendly account. To do this, we'll go to the account button in the top of the screen and then click on calendar connections. You can use any combination of Google, Microsoft, or Apple iCloud calendars to determine your availability. I'm going to connect my Google account now by clicking on the connect button. Calendly will show you a permission screen that is just allowing it to view your calendar. It isn't going to take any of your data or view your Google account in any way, shape, or form. It's just to make sure that your availability can be seen. So I'm going to click allow. Now I've been prompted that my calendar was successfully connected. As you can see, you can add up to six calendars to your account. And once you add them, you can choose whether you want them to be checked for conflicts or be the calendar that notifications are pushed to, i.e. when somebody actually books, you'll receive confirmations to that email address. Remember, you can have as many calendars checked for conflicts as you want, but only one can be chosen for the new events to be added to.